In previous podcasts, we've looked at how to run an ANOVA by hand and what an ANOVA can be used for. In this podcast, we're going to look at how to start using SPSS and how to enter your data into SPSS. So, SPSS is it's quite a simple system once you've got to know how to use it. The important thing in SPSS is to make sure that you use one row per participant. So, what we first of all need to do is go down to the variable view in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and we need to put in our independent variable. So in that case, it's uh, we're going to be looking at our data set to do with javelin throws and our three different allocations of whether participants have had water, whether they've had caffeine or whether they've had beer. So what we need to do in here is write in allocation so that's going to be our three groups and then we can go to values and this means what we need to just pop in here is we can put in one so that's group number one and we're going to label that one caffeine add that in and then we add in two and we can label that water so that's the water group and three these are the groups of human beers and that's our beer group so we we'll add that in then press OK. In the next column, so when we go back to the data view, this will be in the columns, uh, we're going to put our dependent variable. So in this case, it's our javelin throwing distance. So what we can put in here is javelin throwing distance. And what I've done here is just to show you an example of what can be quite annoying on SPSS is it says his name's an illegal character. That's because you've put spaces in there. So what you need to do is put javelin underscore throwing distance. And then it should be allowed to put you in that in. So now we can go back to the data view. And again, as we said before, you need to have one participant per row. So the first 10 rows in this column are all going to be those drinking caffeine. And because we put it into a label setting, we can just add one each time. So that's our first 10. Our next 10 are going to be the water group, and our third group of 10 is going to be our beer drinking group. And then we can move back to our Excel spreadsheet that we've got set up. Copy them. And let's add them in there. So that's our first 10 participants. Our next 10, so this is the water group. And our third group, which is the beer drinking group. You could obviously enter these by hand, um, or as I've done here, copy them in from Excel. So that's entering our data. Uh, in our next podcast, we're going to be looking at how to analyze our one-way ANOVA.